speaker for reals is Laird Hill. Laird is a round hole in a square peg kind of guy. <laughs> pictures were taken by myself or a friend, all within the Calgary area. If you were to topple the space shuttle over, this is the view you would see. For all of your friends who didn't come with you tonight, this is a view that they may never see. This picture was taken at the Calgary airport as we departed the shuttle out. If you wanted to topple over a 30-foot steel wall, I would suggest getting the best cutting torch money can buy, put on all your best safety gear, Start cutting at the bottom of the wall and be ready to run like hell. <laughs> this was an old building with inside a building at North Hill. This 13,000 pound sacred medicine rock was acquired in the United States and delivered to the Edmonton Remand Center on its edge. Inside the building, after the rock was blessed several times, it was toppled into position for future native ceremonies. The topping over of this abandoned school portable does not appear to be going well, or fast, <laughs> or safe. It looks like the forklift operator has left to get a bigger forklift, or a tow truck, or lunch, or maybe a new job. <laughs> Construction waits for no one in this city. If your generator arrives too late to the children's hospital, the walls will already be up. You will have to topple the generator enough to get the radiator through the door opening. Notice the small safety cable on the left resisting a complete topple. Arriving at the Calgary Stampede early, it appears this bronze cowboy has his hand up to ask the crane operator a question, or possibly to help balance himself from toppling over. I'll leave it for you to decide. Given the right equipment, or possibly the wrong equipment, this truck driver is checking to see how much tilt is required to topple this unknown box over for no apparent reason. <laughs> I wonder if this is our forklift operator from the earlier picture. <laughs> Two professional crane operators are taking extreme care to extract this 47,000 pound heating unit from the 13th floor opening in the side of this 25 story building. Great care is required to avoid both the heating unit or the crane from toppling over when doing a tandem lift. This photo taken with a fisheye lens gives the illusion of the gantry, the yellow legs starting to flex and the boom bending downwards forcing the entire load to want to topple off the 45th floor edge. Luckily it never happened. This poor guy, it seems, maybe he is considering topping off the roof edge. This poor guy has no help, it seems. Maybe he's considering topping off the roof edge in protest. He's actually trying to decide which end of the green vessel to bring in first so that the vessel doesn't topple over. Off to his left, you can see the peaks of Jameson Place building. Okay, just the facts. Fact number one, breakaway bronze statue, Calgary Airport. Fact number two, installed arrivals level, summer 2004. Fact three, relocated to new arrivals level spring 2016. Fact four, door height, new arrivals, nine feet. <laughs> Fact five, statue height, 10 feet, statue width, eight feet. Topple time, topple statue, one week. <laughs> same forklift, new operator, same old story. <laughs> Equipment will only fit if you topple it over. I wonder if it's the same engineer designing all these buildings. <laughs> Just asking. This is unlucky slide number 13 with an unlucky story. This was the original clock tower from the Calgary Stampede Grounds. It was retired and relocated to the state campus for a few years. Until more housing was required, the clock tower was toppled over, toppled over to make ways for condos. The ball in the center was saved and made into an eight foot disco ball. <laughs> the oil company who built this office 
two inches wider than their warehouse doors, left it behind when selling the warehouse. The church owners who bought the warehouse wanted it gone. The lady entrepreneur who bought, who bought it had to topple it on its side, slide it through the door, and topple it back upright. She runs a successful small business. <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Or, the bigger they are, the more, like, more they bend before breaking. Like a giant oak tree, topping is a direct result of too much bending. The reflected image in the glass looks straighter than the real thing. Quickly now, no, this child does not have a street light stuck in his head. No, it's not the same forklift. No, the street light is not attached to the forklift. And yes, the child could topple over if he were real. I'm watching the same picture still. <laughs> this job went 100% according to plan. The plan being to topple it almost completely over, stick it through the hole in the sidewalk, then go downstairs and topple it back upright. In this photo, we were killing time so that we could charge more. <laughs> How do I get on a topple crew? As you can see here, topping training starts at a very early age. Note the trainer's seat in the back. Skilled topple crew members can be identified by a trademark known as wearing your hat backwards. This second last photo was taken during a stampede breakfast event. The photographer toppled over when stepping backwards to take this photo. He used it for his workers' compensation claim. <laughs> Pretty clear shot, all things considered. <laughs> this is an actually completed topple. Not all the topple crew trainees make it to the big leagues, as you can tell by, this, by his hat choice and lack of experience in toppling. I believe he is now in management. <laughs> Please enjoy the rest of your evening.